Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and here we have a game between VT Poke Bunny, the blue Terran up on the top left of Delta Quadrant, and his opponent today is going to be Dignitas Show, the red Terran up here on the top right. VT Poke Bunny is going to be the representative for VT Gaming, obviously, and Show is representing Dignitas Gaming here in the Gosu Coaching Premier League. Uh, this show match is between, actually, Clan War, Team League, whatever you want to call it, uh, is being played between Dignitas Gaming and VT Gaming. We just saw a great game between VT Lucky and Dignitas CT. I definitely recommend it. That game on Metalopolis is pretty fun, especially if you like seeing giant armies fight against each other. But Show and Poke Bunny could be a little bit different here. We see uh, nothing too crazy, obviously, out of either player yet. You need a supply depot before you can even build a barracks anywhere, so even a proxy racks wouldn't be evident up to this point. But let me tell you more about the Gosu Coaching Premier League. It's hosted by GosuCoaching.com. You can go there and get more information about it. It's a team league that takes place over many, many weeks. First place team at the end of it will receive $7,000 for their team, so they definitely want to uh, win as many <laughs> series as they can. First barracks coming down for Poke Bunny and first barracks coming down for Show here, but um, some really great teams are in this Gosu Coaching Premier League. VT Gaming, Dignitas Gaming, Fnatic, EG, Root, Empire, Mouse Sports, and Liquid, I believe, are all of them, but... Uh, so far, we've only seen this one game here on my channel. You can check out, uh, try and find some more replays and things on gosucoaching.com. But so far, VT Gaming actually has one up on Dignitas. Uh, basically, both players, uh, both teams put up two players each. Nope, that's wrong. Both teams put up four players each, and if they each manage to win two games, it goes to an ace match where they will pick one of their players uh, to play in a, a special game five, and this is just a best of one, so Show and Poke Bunny only have one chance at each other here. Uh, each player is doing pretty much the very standard turn build, everything lining up pretty well here up in the production tab. First Marine going to be showing up for Poke Bunny by the time Show's SCV actually arrives here, and Show, notable for him, he really recently won the Intel Extreme Masters European Championship against White Raw, and you can check out those games on my channel as well. They're a bit old, so I don't mind spoiling, but if you want to see some great TVP games, go check those out. Very easy to find on my channel. And Factory coming up for Poke Bunny. For Show, on the other hand, he's getting a second gas up quite quickly, and a Tech Lab. Looks like Bio is going to be his mixture of choice for this TVT and Poke Bunny going for something a little bit different. I don't think that SCV actually got in there and saw that Factory, did he? No, he didn't. He didn't even get far enough to see the actual orbital command coming up there. Poke Bunny leaving a couple of Marines here at his ramp, concealing everything from his opponent's show, throwing up that second gas now, and a reactor on his first barracks. Uh, sort of makes me think Marine Tank is going to be his option, but show back at his home, getting a Reaper out very quickly. Interesting. A couple of Marines and a single Reaper so far. Factory also being built here in the back, and a second barracks going up. What is this SCV going to be doing? He is building just a spotter depot here by his destructible debris. Poke Bunny back at home is just going to go ahead and round out his Uno, Uno, Uno build here with the starport. He's got Uno of each production structure, and I'm calling it a Uno, Uno, Uno just to mix it up a little bit. 111 is um, kind of tedious, but you know, we see it so often. Got to call it what it is. First Hellion is out for Poke Bunny. Reaper and two Marines out for show. That looked really weird having the Reaper just sitting there at the top of the ramp, but now he is on the move. Let's see what he's able to actually accomplish with this. Couple more Marines coming out for Poke Bunny and the first tank. Marauder and a Starport being built back at Show's base, and Stimpak is being researched very quickly, so like to see that. It can be very, very hard to deal with. So Reaper already in here, already racking up some kills. He's got two, he's got three, he killed all those uh, SCVs on gas there for Poke Bunny, and Poke Bunny responding with a lot of Marines, not able to actually kill off the Reaper, but are able to actually uh, shoo him out of the base at least. So show just gathering up some bio units out of this factory. He hasn't gotten anything yet, but it looks like Hellions are going to be his choice. No, he's actually just flipping around the starport onto the reactor and leaving the factory over here to sit all alone by itself. Two medevacs? No, a medevac and a viking being created very early, but show is supply blocked. He's only at 35-35, so he's not going to be able to build both of those. The medevac takes priority because he did click it first. Hellion trying to get up the ramp of show. Obviously, that's not going to happen with this many units here. Um, won't be able to achieve anything, so Poke Bunny just pulls back before that Hellion is actually lost. Tank Marine Force starting to get up 
pretty high now, pretty large. Uh, Banshee coming out now, no cloak being researched, just a nice supplement to that army it looks like. And Sho sitting back at home waiting for Stimpak to finish. He's probably going to load up in this medevac, maybe even do a drop in the back. Reaper showing up once again for Sho. He's already got those three SCV kills from earlier and he is now uh, pinned between some marines. He gets taken out. So Sho is going to lose his little spying and SCV killing Reaper. And Poke Bunny will be here at his ramp here in just a moment. The drop has not gone anywhere. Actually, it's still just hanging out in the main. Viking is here for Sho. Going to be coming back. Should be doubling back here to try and take out this Banshee. Sho might even focus it down. SCV is being pulled for Sho right now. Poke Bunny is going to lose a lot of Marines here, if not everything. And Sho looks like... He is actually going to be able to defend this quite well. Tank blowing up for Poke Bunny right there. Sets show at 42 supply. Poke Bunny also at 42 supply, but look at the income tab. And we'll see uh, Poke Bunny is actually ahead in harvesters as well. So that means the army of show is just a little bit stronger. And these two medevacs, of course, healing up. These stimmable marines and marauder are going to be quite good for show. He's got medevac number three coming. This tank. Uh, doing some very good damage here, and the second uh, Banshee already out for Poke Bunny, going to do some great damage as well. The Viking should clean up the Banshee, and those Marines actually did clean up the tank, so now it's a single Marine and a single Viking against essentially nothing here, just a couple of Marines and a tank here for Poke Bunny. This Viking is going to come over, see what it can find out. Nothing he wants to fight right now, so this Command Center is going to continue to take some fire. You can see units streaming from Show's base over to his force. He's going to meet up with them now. Marauders, Marines, another Viking... Uh, uh, putting him up to two Vikings, two Marines, no, three Marines, two Marauders, three Medivacs. This is a decent little ball of units here. I'll just go ahead and select all of it. Well, Poke Bunny only has four Marines and a tank trying to get this command center up still. Another tank and two Marines. He needs to get all his forces here together to be able to battle this off. These Medivacs actually are going to make the big difference here. And, of course, the Stim Pack, which Poke Bunny still doesn't have, uh, going to make a giant difference as well. The two Vikings land, get in on the fight, take out the tanks as a priority. And now Poke Bunny does have a Viking out show. Uh, Poke Bunny also has this Banshee over here, but Marines, of course, can hit the Banshee, and those Vikings can just lift off and attack as well. So Viking on Viking, they actually take each other out. Uh, one standing Marine still here on the ground, going to be able to take out the Banshee because of these medevacs, and the uh, Marine and the Banshee actually take each other out as well. More units stimming up from Sho coming in and forcing Poke Bunny to actually cancel his command center while Sho is dropping his own at his natural. Things are starting to go in Sho's favor here. 50 supply against 41. As long as Sho continues to stream units over here, he's got a Marine just hanging out. But uh, Poke Bunny actually going to GG as he has no units on the field right now. Sho taking that with a nice base defense at first and then uh, just a nice little counterattack. Able to hit Poke Bunny's units when they were most vulnerable. And Poke Bunny does a nice little shout out, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we're going to go into the next game of the VT Gaming and Dignitas Gaming Clan War for the Gosu Coaching Premier League, uh, hosted by gosucoaching.com.